Hi, I just wanted to talk about SEO in relation to the CBD industry today. So with CBD, uh, the only marketing you can do online is really SEO and influencer marketing. There's restriction to paid advertising because, uh, quote unquote, the legality of these products. Uh, you can see that Google and Facebook are both based in California, where the laws are actually legal. Uh, it's, it's very conflicting. Uh, likely we'll see a light roll out by a state-by-state -state basis, depending on what the laws are. But since uh, the farm bill, a lot of that is out the window. So this client worked with us for about 90 days, and we saw... Uh, a big opportunity to optimize their site for certain keywords. So initially you can see there's, there's tepid results in how many impressions they were receiving. In particular, what I look for is trying to sustain uh, at least 100 impressions a day. That will get you around 3,000 impressions a day. And every time your site is coming up for more keywords, your web pages are coming up for more keywords, you're going to start to see more results. And those results are going to start to compound. As you start to see here, when we started working, the site started getting a pulse. And then it started getting really ramped up here as more pages were appearing in Google because SEO is about the long run. SEO is a marathon. So as your marketing begins to ramp up, everything starts to fire on all cylinders. So it's important to look at the data inside of Google Search Console. Google Search Console is going to tell you what keywords you're ranking for. And we can already see that 23% of the clicks that are coming to the site is coming from this particular keyword. 12% is coming from the brand name. And this is where we want to start looking at new opportunities in order to optimize the site further. So as more keywords start appearing, we want to go in there, monitor them, and find opportunities to optimize optimize different pages and different products. And this is the longevity and the core of SEO. And as you start looking at the impressions, you start seeing which keywords start appearing inside of Google Search Console. And we can see there's a lot of different Koi keywords. And since we've worked with Koi before, we know which of them are going to work and which of them are not going to work. And these impressions over time are going to start ramping up. We can review the data, map it to a specific page, and start optimizing it so we can get better results in the long term. And that's the success of SEO, continuous monitoring and optimization. On the flip side of things, we can start looking at web pages. Where is all the attention for SEO? Typically, with a new site, Google is going to start seeing all of your attention on the home page. You can see about 65% of the impressions and clicks, excuse me, 65% of the clicks are coming on the home page. 27% of the impressions are coming there. So there's only a handful of pages here that are receiving clicks from Google because it requires further optimization and further monitoring. And you can see some of these oddball products are just getting a tenth or a hundredth of a percent in impressions. But when you start looking at impressions, we start to see new opportunities in collections and pages and products as Google is starting to distribute the impressions amongst all of these different pages. That's where it takes an SEO expert like us to go into the web page, make sure we map it with the right keywords and proceed to optimize it in order to rank better. Now we can use all of that data and look at it by a country basis. We can see in this case, 80% of the results are coming from the US. We can apply those results uh, into different countries if you wanna do foreign keywords. It's really dependent on what the strategy is. An important thing to consider is we closely monitor where your traffic is coming from by devices. You can see in this case, 20, 25, or almost 55% of devices are coming from Mobile and mobile is important because Google is grading your website based off the user experience, which is how the website performs. And it's important that your mobile page speed and your mobile performance is impeccable because if your competitors are doing it better than you, you can lose out on that opportunity, uh, especially tablet is a growing trend. And then we also have desktop is a growing trend as well in this case. Uh, but overall, mobile is going to eclipse both these devices over time as the site grows. So that's just a quick walkthrough of what results look like and how you can re achieve success and clicks over time. Once you start getting more impressions, you start compounding for more keywords and 
SEO is a portfolio, just like any sort of investment. Once your marketing starts to appreciate, SEO is going to rank better. And SEO is the only form of digital marketing that appreciates over time. So keep that one in mind. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment here at the bottom of YouTube and I'll get back to you soon. In the meantime, subscribe and I hope to hear from you as well.